I'm facing off head to head in a PC build off against a pro who has tons of experience compared to me who has close to none to see if I can beat him. The rules are simple. Both me and Jaden get three hours total to pick out our parts in a giant PC warehouse and finish building the PCs before the time limit is up. If you fail to do so, it results in an immediate disqualification and the opponent wins. But if both noob and pro complete their builds on time, they'll be thoroughly judged by PC professionals for meta PCs based on build quality, aesthetic, and pure creativity. So let's find out. Can a noob be a pro in a PC build off? And your time starts now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be looking for is a case because that's like the whole foundation of a build. They have a Y70 touch? <laughs> Dead giveaway. And since this is the black version of this case, that means I'm going to have to stick with that theme through the rest of this build. So now it's time to go pick out the rest of the parts. So the first thing I want to pick out is probably a graphics card because that's really the only knowledge I can somewhat have of a PC. So I'm probably just going to go with... The Probably just gonna go with a 4090, but we'll just act like we didn't see that. I don't really know how to pick out motherboards or what makes these things unique, so hopefully this is good and I'm gonna just roll with it. Now, I know I am on the noob side of this thing, but I'm no dummy. So I picked out this cool one that has an LCD because we are using the Y70 touch, so double screen action is kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. This one didn't have a box, so I chose an i7 14700K to put in my build and it was just in this tray, but I think it'll work. So I didn't wanna bore y'all with picking out the rest of the parts because these aren't even really that important, but. I got these really cool Lee and Lee black fans because I heard these are like the most popular. I went with DDR5 something and I picked a four terabyte SSD because four is bigger than all the other numbers. So I went with that one. And last but not least, the power supply unit. And with all that being said, it's time to start the build. How are you feeling going into this competition? Well, I've only ever built one PC before. So my experience is definitely way below Jaden's, but I'm confident in my capabilities and confidence gets you far. So I honestly think I'm going to win this thing. Chandler winning is actually a question. We're at, bro, we just put the CPU in. We're about to put the M.2 in. And this guy over here is still now just unboxing his motherboard. It's not about how you start though. It's about how you finish. First thing I'm putting in, I'm just dropping the CPU in. No, no worries, no pressure. I then quickly snapped in my RAM sticks and installed my SSD, but someone else is moving a whole lot quicker. Let's go, uh, let's go see how Chandler's doing. Chandler, I I've noticed that the motherboard is, is still on the table right now. Yeah, yeah, what about it? Why is it in the case? <laughs> I I'll keep it real. I don't know how to open this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually not? Oh, holy. I guess my inexperience is showing a lot right now. I just realized 45 minutes of our time limit has already passed and I haven't even put the motherboard in yet. So I need to hurry up. So this case actually has a mount for a vertical GPU, which is gonna look super clean, but I've never done that before. So I actually need to remove this so I can fit the motherboard into the case. I am super happy that I have a lot of room to move around in this case because I know I'd get really flustered if I was crammed, but I did just finish putting in the motherboard into the case. So now I can look in the vertical GPU mount. I'm not gonna lie, Jaden is miles ahead in this build. So I've got to slow him down somehow. By any means okay. necessary, I'm winning this. Okay, I don't know why they put that. <laughs> so the last time and the only time I built a PC, the AIO literally became my arch nemesis. So I'm praying for a cleaner install this time where I don't face as many troubles as I did last time. Why is this not working, bro? So first things first, I need to change out these three stock fans into these really cool Lee and Lee fans that I picked out just for a more aesthetic look. Meanwhile, this guy Chandler, man, took my whole box of fans. Bro, he didn't take one box of fans. He took two of my fans. I'm over here trying to put my fans in. What do I want to take? Taking a box of fans. Yep, good luck. The time limit was starting to run low. So I hurried up and got my AIO put in as fast as possible. And to my surprise, I got it first try. I also tossed the Lee and Lee fans in, which was really simple. But when I was about to install the bottom row of fans, I could not find the third box. It didn't take me too long to realize where they went though. This dude had the nerve to steal my fans. Fans? Who would do that? Now, since this is an all black build, I do want to add a little bit of my own personality since my favorite color of all time is red. So I got these all red cable extensions and I think it'll look really good as an accent color. So being mindful of the time limit, I hurry and put in all the cable extensions, but then it was time for the most dreadful part, the power supply unit. This step really slowed me down having no clue what I was doing. But once I kind of pieced things together, I realized I now had less than an hour to finish my build and Jaden's already done with his PC. Okay, so we are on a little bit of a time crunch here. I'm getting a little nervous if we're actually even going to finish this on time because I do not want to get disqualified from the competition. So I just connected everything and it's time to see if this thing's even going to turn on. Moment of truth. It turned on, but there is no RGB in the fans. I'm just noticing that we might be in trouble. So after looking through all my wires, I realized I completely forgot to plug something in. So now we're going to see if the lights actually work. Bang. 
Bang, GPU time, bro. Now onto the part I've actually been waiting so long for, and that's this giant 4090. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, dude. Okay, we do need to be a little gentle with this thing, because it probably costs more than anything I've ever touched in my life. But let's hurry and get it put into the vertical GPU mount. And boom, we're in. Okay, and now the last final part is to screw this thing in so it doesn't sag so much. And then I do want to have the RGB change in this, so we can match the red extension cables just for a better aesthetic, and so we can win the judges over a little more with looks. Now, I do have a mess of cables back here, but I'm just kind of praying the judges don't bother to check here because I am not managing all this. So we're just going to shove it back here and pray it fits. <laughs> fit. Now, does it look good back there? Absolutely not. Do I care though? Absolutely not. PC done. I'm genuinely shocked I finished that build in time. I cut it super close with only like five minutes left on the timer, but I'm just excited what the judges have to say now. What score do you think the judges will give you on your build? Tins across the board, bro. I don't have a doubt in my mind. So let's meet the judges. All three of them are PC professionals and will be judging based on their own specialties such as the build quality, creativeness, and aesthetics. So let's see what they think. This is the PC I decided to go with. Um, I went with a black and red aesthetic because that's my favorite colorway of all time. And yeah, I hope y'all give me a good score. <laughs> <laughs> Something that does stand out, these top fans. I believe they are installed backwards. They are currently intaking air instead of exhausting, so we just need to swap those around and make a noticeable difference on performance here. Check out the cable management here. Ooh, not a zip tie in sight. It is kind of tucked in here, just enough to get the side panel on. A little bit more love here with some zip ties. We've gone a long ways. Otherwise, looks good, and it's a functioning system. The fact that he decided to go with the Y70 Touch, which just so happens to be my favorite case. It's like, he intentionally did this to get a better score. This the case is my favorite for so many reasons. It's just obscene to have a 10 point touch 4K screen. I'm a real stickler for color, man. So I've no, I'm noticing here that the cable combs coming from the graphics card compared to the motherboard, it's a different shade of red. I mean, it's like a little detail. It's not the end of the world, but we are talking aesthetics here. Everything else looks great, man. Aesthetically, looks fantastic. Uh, looks like we have Lee and Lee fans. Listen, I like Lee and Lee. They look wonderful, but they're just so so they're everywhere. They're they're not very unique anymore, creativity-wise. Honestly, I really love what he did here. Tough Gaming, which has like a tactical, military-esque feel, did that for both the motherboard and the graphics card. Excellent choice there. Honestly, Chandler, I'm pretty impressed with that. Excellent. Well, it appears the judges really seem to like my build, so let's see what they think of Jaden's now. This is obviously a very important aspect of PC building. Gotta see how well Jaden did on the cable management here. There's this magical thing called a zip tie. I don't think there's any. A couple of little things I'm noticing here, we missed a few screws. Gotta have all of those on the radiators. Otherwise, it's a clean build. Uh, from a builder perspective, passes. Number one, I love an all white build. The one thing that I would say, this is a big deal to me. We should always have the same cables for extension, the same color, just to keep it consistent. But overall, dude, crushed it on this build. Looks good, aesthetically pleasing, white on white. I like it, man. D30 fans. Everyone defaults to Lee and Lee, and it's nice to see something different than Lee and Lee or Lee and Lee Infinity fans. They're just everywhere. One thing I found interesting is he's chosen to set RGB on the graphics card, on the fans, set it to white, but on the RAM chips, hasn't set them at all. That's a default profile. Don't know if I would have made any specification changes, but I definitely would have set RGB. Now that both PCs have been thoroughly reviewed by the professionals, it's time to see what they rated our builds on a scale from one through 10 to decide who won the challenge. Jaden, your system looks very, very nice. Um, everything from a builder's perspective checked out. So for this guy, we're going with a seven. I'll take a freaking seven. That's not I'll bad. I'll take a seven. That's not bad. bad. When it comes to all white builds, they're honestly one of my favorites. So this score is indicative of all of the components selected, how they all tie together, how they look. I'm gonna have to go with an 8.6 on all white. Oh, I was really good. impressed. Was good. I think creativity wise, I love the aesthetic that you have from the tactical Steel Legend type look, the white theme, the RGBs, excellent build. I give you 6.9. Okay. This puts Jaden at 22 and a half points, which means I've really got to pull through here. Fantastic looking system from a builder's perspective. The main thing that I do have to ding you on is the reversed fans at the top. Um, so out of 10, I had to give you a six. That's not bad. He did a great job picking components. Aesthetically, it looks great. I love the white, black, red setup, and of course, in the Y70 Touch case. So I'm gonna go with an 8.9. Sick. Did a great job, dude. I think aesthetically, <laughs> it's good. an awesome build.
Great Thank job, crush Thank you. you. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Chandler, I want to like this build. Oh no. It's a great build, but it's not fully set up, man. The touch screen, you're missing apps. There's a loading screen on the front of the touch screen. That's Chris's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could give you more, but I just can't. So creativity wise, I have to give you a 5.5. Damn. Harsh. All right, the winner of the biggest build-up in history is Jaden with 22 points! Yeah. You did an awesome job, Thank man. You, Great build, dude. That. Let's go. You're <laughs> sucked. I lost. I can't believe I lost. Even after the $200 bribe is crazy. Now I'm poor and a loser. But in all seriousness, this was a whole lot of fun and I'm so thankful to MetaPCs for making this whole thing possible. We were able to freely use their inventory, their studio, and even interrupt their work days a little so they could film this fun video with us. If you're looking for a PC, make sure to go to metapcs.com and use code Chandler at checkout to save some cash. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. And let me know if y'all wanna see more stuff like this. Thank you all so much for watching. All y'all fellas stay blessed and remember to always put God first. Until next time.